baby, I can pay you to a kiss from a rose on the gray. Oh. What was I doing? Ah, I came here to save. We got, um, Beanstalk, Beans, Bean Valley. I got, this is Land's End and this is Bean's Valley. It's like fucking, that's clearly not. This is Land's End. What if? This area is absolutely 100% fucking obnoxious. It's not hard to navigate. There's only like a few dead ends. That's not really a component of it. It's more annoying just for like various other reasons. So I could just progress. I don't remember what's up here. Well. That did not very much damage at all. Look at Gino's health. He's strong. <gasps> Look at Gino's damage. Jesus. When did everyone get so powerful? Did I do some grinding and then like will myself to forget? Or is that like a low level enemy that I can still fight for some reason? How you doing, Pimente? Shit. Must be a low level enemy. 18 experience is okay. Yes, yeah, Snowy, that's a good spell. That's like an AoE that's better than Chalker. Feels good, man. And I even got a good level up. Oh, this is my destination. In a sense. I am A OK. -okay. Shit. I'm already equipping a true form pin on everyone. That would be like one of the most annoying attacks in the entire game if I didn't have one. Am I listed as playing Street Fighter 5? Because I shouldn't be. I think this floor needs a timeout. Powerful ass one. You will never shoot a um, be in the face with a hand hand based rocket launcher. Yes, I am going to restream co-op cup. Ultra jump. That's my second to last spell. None of these are that good. Easy's a joke. I like have a Japanese friend and I distinctly remember one time he like um, told me a joke and he like ended he ended what he was saying with it is joke. And every time I hear that I'm just like it is joke. Joranda. That's what they would say in Japanese. Which quite literally means, um, joke, joke was, joke is. Body. This thing is called a Chewy. This little asshole, you can just kill him by jumping on the flowers, but it's better to leave him... You can't get through these pipes. Oh. That's a lot of enemies. When did my defense get so much better? I feel like that artichoke is going to give me a hard time. Let's give Snowy a try. Oh, it's expensive, damn it. Let's give Thunderbolt a try. We might need that MP in a minute. That's such a weird timing. Criffid. What does it mean? Do a caution confused monster. There we go. Kill yourself. Also good. Artichokes are tasty! I'll probably do Paper Mario after this, and then maybe um, Thousand Year Door after that. Got him. Seemed like didn't have a turn for like a full cycle. I got a lot of experience for that. Anyway, you can go down these pipes. 
wonder where this one is. Oh, shit. Oh, I got a mushroom. Damn. Pretty good. Oh, this is that one. This one's actually super important. Alright, everyone fucking prepare to shit yourselves. This is the entrance to Great Guys Casino. It took me fucking two billion years to find this shit, and I had to look it up on the internet, so it really took me, like, you know, just the number of years that the internet, that it was, like, well-known. Please enjoy yourself. There's one NPC who kind of... There's, like, three NPCs who kind of give you a hint on where it is, but it's still, like, literally, like, almost impossible to find. You have to go to that exact spot and just jump repeatedly. Anyway, you can play games that grind for uh, frog coins here. There's, like, infinite frog, frog coins. I'll come back and play those games later. No, it just sends me back to the fucking beginning. Damn it. So I did like the top one and the left one. Top left one. Do more damage from the fucking poison. It take it tells you that it has this the Great Guys Casino is like near a chomp that you have to jump three times. I forget. There's like three like extremely fuck obscure hints. And it's still like one of the hardest things to find in the universe. These things are literally a Dragon Quest monster. Oh shit, they must have like exactly 200 health. Shit, do you know the worst? I gotta play La Mulana on stream, and also uh, Ori in the Blind Forest. I've been meaning to do those two games forever. I think they're both Metroidvanias, right? Alright, so those two are back. Jino hasn't been in a Smash game because he's literally only in this one game that a lot of people didn't play and it's like ridiculously out of date. You know, had like uh, the best chance in Smash 64, and after that, it was already too late. Also, because oh, mute. Because he's um owned by uh. HP is good. I don't care about her attack almost at all. He's owned by Square. Shit. Box boy. That did nothing. I really need to learn the timing on Shocker. I'm tired of not knowing that. It would be really helpful if I could power that shit up. Um, what the fuck is that? Fought so. I kinda wanna psychopath the box boy. Six eighty five, that's a lot. Mellow's probably dead. That did a lot of fucking damage. I'm gonna use like twenty billion pick me ups in this one fight. Maybe he's weak to jump? I say, hopefully. Ultra Jump is like the same as Super Jump, except it uh, targets all enemies. And I think it might have a hard cap on the amount of uh, damage it can do. I mean, the amount of jumps you can have. Whereas Super Jump, you can just keep jumping forever. That face is ugly. That did a lot. Oh my god, stop having turns. I'm not even getting any freebies, damn it.
I might be dead. I might have just party wiped. I might have actually party wiped. Alright, we're not actually dead, but we might actually be dead. Yup. Well, how about that? There was a save point. Okay. So did I already get... What did, where did I, What was the last thing I did? Did I get... Um, Fair Guys Casino? Nice party wipe. Not happy. Do I still have Snowy? I bet that thing had a cool prize too if you kill it. That enemy was like way higher level than me, honestly. I had that many battle musics, but probably. It's actually two exits. Fuck, this one's just a boss. Alright, so let's not fuck around with this guy. Bit early. I think he counterattacks if you use magic on him or something. Nice. Yeah, I'm getting that feeling. Before he kills two characters and then attacks Mela. Monsters are inside. Halved. <sighs> Still worth bouncing. Got him. This thing shouldn't be that hard. strong but um it's just a really hard enemy it's just a semi boss got a lot of coins for that crusher how would I not take fucking the attack boost every time his level ups aren't that good or at least the choosing part of his level ups isn't that good why are there two exits here where's the other exit go Fucking, there's like a treasure on top of that treasure. Anyway, I might have not gotten Great Guys Casino, but it'll be it'll take just as long to get it now as later, so I don't care. This is one of the harder bosses in the game. This is probably like the mm, this is a hard boss. Nothing even really indicating that it's a boss, except the boss music, I suppose. Nice block. I probably should have healed before this fight. My Lex. Oh, 
following up is the annoying thing that you can do. Unfortunately, this is the boss that can spin Mushroom, and you can't defend yourself against Mushroom and defend yourself against, um, Sleep. You gotta choose. Peach's single target heal heals more, and also cure statuses for the same amount of MP. Peach would probably be a better character to have along for this fight than Mallow. We'll see though. It's recycled water. All water is recycled water. Let's see how Thunderbolt does. I think Snowy is pretty good against these guys. I did not that much. Dwayne. A pretty low level spell at this point in the game. Damn it. Let's just kill them one by one. I got stuck on this on this boss as a kid for a long fucking time. I got stuck on almost every boss as a kid. Now that's important. Nice. Immediately woken up. As long as he doesn't pollen nap me right now. This is just the intro to the boss battle. I haven't even fucking started the boss battle yet, basically. But I'm looking super good. Unless this puts me asleep successfully. In which case, I'm not looking super good anymore. I'm actually, like, you know, struggling. La -dee da. I had some nutrients. There he is. That's the boss. Um, this guy's name is. Mega Smilax. So what does it want me to do? Rotate control pad. Try to spoon. That did uh, pretty good damage. If everyone's asleep, this is going to be super fucking annoying. Please attack Gino and Mala. Alright. Fucking magic doesn't necessarily wake you up. This is the attack. This is the most annoying attack. This is like the, one of the only bosses in the game that has this attack, if not the only one. Monk. Um, I'm just gonna use a... was it? Elixir? Yeah. That hurts everyone for good damage, and also, um... Um... Turns everyone into mushrooms. Or like, it has a good chance of turning you into a mushroom. And mushroom is a shitty-ass status effect. Alright, my whole party's asleep. Magic. Alright, that's pretty good. Scrow dust. I've got a true form pin. So this is a lot harder than it needs to be. I don't remember if those little guys come back. Fucking A. I got really unlucky that they fucking okay. Put literally everyone to sleep. That like it really cuts down my This fight is so fucking hard if you get turned into mushrooms. It's like nigh unwinnable if you don't equip true form pins. Shit. I'm out of MP. Shit. Must have been all that super jumping from earlier. I should just be fine with just regular attacking from here on out. The only thing I really need MP for still is um HP rain. Honestly, this is being a lot easier than I remember. Just because I'm prepared this time. 
When I was a kid, I wasn't prepared, and it was just a super fucking hard fight. I know, I'll run away. Gotta love it. A seed. This must be the legendary seed. This is one of the coolest areas in the whole game. Maybe the coolest area in the whole game. I like how that's the one fucking brick block. I like how this is canon. I like how, like, this is like, this is like one of the only times we've seen these things since the first Super Mario Bros. Brick block with a fucking beanstalk inside it. No, they're in New Super Mario Bros. quite a lot. I couldn't quite understand what those things are supposed to be. I already know how to climb. Momodora? Which one? But I had a really easy time with Momodora. But I only played three. It's very easy to it's quick to learn. There's the that's the fat that's the fat Koopa. That's the corpulent Koopa. Ubi's Koopa. Heavy Troop is ready to launch. I forgot this thing's attack pattern. It takes two turns per attack, but its attack is really fucking strong. It's good to just spam attacks on it. Oh no. That's four, right? Reverie. This map is full of platforming. They might just want the coin. There we go. That cloud in the background is so cute. Whoa. I had a really hard time doing this as a kid, but now it's like not that hard at all. Thick Koopa. Press one if you've got about a half chub right now. Oh shit, I'm here. I don't want to be here. I didn't mean to go straight to my destination. What the fuck was that jump? I must have hit the ceiling or something. I literally can't tell what that thing on the left is supposed to be. The thing? It looks like a, an eye and a beak, and then it also looks like it's got like a mouth that's open with like a, a person inside it. My best guess on what the fuck is going on with that thing's face is that it's a person wearing like a bird hat. A hat reminiscent of a bird's head. Oh, he turned into a platform. Oh, nice. I want that frog one, I suppose. I was so bad at this as a kid. It's weird because it's really easy now. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Oh fuck, that timing. Like clockwork. Oh shit. That's a big jump. Ah, damn it! I tried. I keep on trying to jump late. Let's just jump early. It might not even be that far away. On my way. Took me a while to figure out where this shit is. Rare scarf. I think it is in fact rare. It's the only one in the game. Hello. Only royalty can bathe, and you don't look so royal. What the fuck does that mean? All roads lead to Rome. Valentina, she's wearing a bird on her head. Shut up! I already like this character. Prince Mallow. 
The missing prince. The missing prince? An entire race of cloud people. Wait a second. That laugh. Ho oh, oh, ho oh. ho. Oh, Prince Mallow. Welcome back, Prince Mallow. You filled out a bit. You're looking fit. I've agreed to become his queen. Something very mysterious is going on right now. There's a prince with the same name as me! <laughs> oh, Mello. There by way of the hot springs. Can I come out here yet? No. But used to be so small, so timid. The royal bus. This place actually like has a bunch of interesting dialogue, so nothing personnel. How did he know? Mega glove. That's probably better than what I have. An actual good weapon. Two bullet from elbows. Sticky glove. I should get all this pudge shit. I mean this fuzzy shit. This is probably pretty good. Shirt, pants, cape. No bows or anything in this store. So we got the uh, Mega Glove, we got the Sticky Glove, we got the um, Hand Cannon, and we got some fuzzy shit. Seventy-five to eighty-one, that's a big increase. And we can um, change these too. Rare Scarf. Raises defense power. Hard to ignore. You can stay here and there's like an event that can happen if you stay here. I don't know what causes it, but literally you get like a... you In this inn, you have like dreams. And there's a certain dream that gives you like good items. Can't go through there. Huh. That's very interesting, isn't it? Hey look, it's me! That's King Nimbus when he was a young lad! <laughs> my name is Mello. This is my friend Mario. 
Raised by Frog Fuchsius. <laughs> the bow. Hello, acute. So it turns out that Mellow's from a cloud race. Which kind of explains why, when he cries, it rains, and also why all his spells are elemental, uh, weather-based. This is a pretty glorious segment. I guess this is implying that it took a long, a long time. I didn't get that as a kid. I, like, didn't understand what he was doing. Hey, don't move. There's a statue of <laughs> Valentina's nephew, Mariotta. Oh, this song is so good. There is no such person as Mariotta. Huh. My latest masterpiece I created just for you. It's called A Plumber's Lament. Covering the sad, innocent smile of a simple fool. And the sideburns, conveying his blue collar roots. The legs of the masses. <laughs> Is he doing that because he's angry? The segment is kind of amazing. No, it's very amazing. It's just the booster segment again. Yeah, this lady is, is like Queen Smug. This part is just great, especially the song. Did I get it? Good enough. That's a fun little segment. If you do that right, you get this item. 
the feather. And if you do it wrong, you get a boss battle with Dodo. The feather is a pretty good uh, piece of equipment. It's not as good as the amulet, I guess. It's uh, the feather. I don't remember what it actually says it does. It raises your speed by a lot. It's like one of the only items in the game that raises your speed, and boy does it. high-tech, lifelike, realistic ones. This place is vaguely maze-like. Whoa, watch yourself. A pinwheel. That did not... Okay, I missed, so I didn't even get the chance to fucking power it up. Cool weapon. And Mega Gloves have really cool animation. They're just huge. I didn't want that yet. There's enemy versions of that fucking thing. That, um... <gasps> Joffle sleeping! Joffle is... I think I got the power up. That did a lot of damage. Joffle is my favorite enemy. There's another one later that's related to him. That's even better. But Joffle is just perfect. Lucky. sense to kill the one that had already used magic, or not kill the one that had already used magic just in case they only have enough magic for one spell. I guess I'll try and fucking, I'll wake up this Joffle. Joffle's awake now. Save state. I'm gonna accept first and then I'm gonna save state. Where is Yoshi? Remember, if I didn't load state, then it wasn't really. It wasn't really cheating. Oops, I did load state. I can get a lucky if you add a if I want to. Literally, the lucky gem all it does is give you lucky. I just realized the fans have, like, faces on them. Never actually looked. Gotta pick me up. Yeah. Oh, fuck. I didn't even see that slingshot. Or are these dudes? Or Orbison. These things can cast magic, so I'm fucking... I want them dead. Damn it. What's the timing? Nice damage.
Doom Reverb. Will I ever put a Shy Girl in the fuck bag, though? That's what I want to know. Alright, the game at some point refilled my MP. The GBA Mario RPG was Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga. Oh, my face. Oh. Oh, there was one up there. Jesus, I hit the top one. Shy Girl is a fairly easy cosplay. Imagine if you could smoke anime. That's everyone. I seem to recall that thing was crazy hard. Are you gonna play on your game? When the guy next to you smells like a uh, literal fucking human shit? Probably not. You're probably not gonna play your best match. Under those circumstances. It's good strategy. Tactical and shit. Shit. You gotta move fast. got the lowest natural attack and I've been giving him mostly like HP and magic level ups and you can still see he's almost as strong as Gino or Mario. It doesn't make a huge difference what you pour your points into. I guess I'll kill this Forky. Joppa. Forky's the big one I think. Or the other one. I overheld it. Huh. Didn't realize those ghosts could run away. secret right there. Found that one on accident. I actually did know. Only the king gets to bathe in it. A huge egg. A flower jar. And I've got to drop something. I guess a mushroom. Um, I can use a flower jar as a full heal, which is going to sound really good in a second. Oh yes, I would like the master key. The 
This is probably one of the strangest boss fights in the game. I feel like I'm not doing that many more fights, but the boss fights have just been way, like... Oh, shit. I tried to turn on the, um... Staircase, but it didn't work. I feel like the difficulty, like... Just goes down. Like, it gets hard really fast, and then, like, it stops getting hard as much. Oh, fuck. If I recall correctly. Oh, never mind. Maybe it's from the other side. They can get here without, um... Can never get it. Troop is ready to launch. I'll be seeing spaces. This area coming up is really guilty of the long, long unskippable conversation followed by boss fight. Followed by hard boss fight. A lot of HP. Fuck. I couldn't walk through the door. Because, um... Ugh, I don't want to wake up Joffel. Yeah, I do. These guys just have a random chance of running away. That was a pretty good fight. I had to use the key. What the fuck is this? Big Eggy, I'll give you plenty of nutrients so you grow up to be big and strong. So what I'm going to do... As I'm going to use a bunch of HP reins. Oh, I'm out of MP. That's not good. I guess this is still fine. So using a flower jar restores me to full MP. Now I've got near full MP, which should be more than enough. Shyways outside jumping range. Doors locked. Alright, here we go. Will you play with me? Oh. Key to this room. It's an egg. Shelly. Good name. That was a really, really good time to um, get off a shit ton of Gino Whirls. I mean, not Gino Boosts. No wonder I couldn't fucking tar target my team. I'm just gonna wake it up. What well-established Mario character could be inside this egg? <gasps> it's Birdo. I actually missed the perfect timing. I'm gonna try and stay healthy. Probably weak to magic. My attack's doing nothing. Fredo has good defense. Tee hee. Ouch, you're hurting me. That had a lot of fucking damage. 
Someone kindly explain to me what the fuck Fredo is. I remember having a bunch of playthroughs where uh, Birdo could just one-shot a bunch of characters. But I'm not getting one-shot. I remember this fight being hard literally because Birdo just one-shot everyone. Forcing me to spam pick-me-ups. Birdo was... In Japan, Birdo was just pristine. Um, and in America, in the... In the... Like, US manual for Mario 2, it just ra adds, like, a random fucking transsexual, like, line. It's like it's actually a male and it fucking likes dressing up in a bow, like a woman. Um, and I think that's now made it over back to Japan. I think that they now just have references to that. Oh, Catherine. What did I say? I don't I didn't even remember. I don't even remember Catherine. Whatever. It has a different name. I mean Yatta. Those were all shitty level ups. Don't forget about me. Whoa. Fuck. I should have just attacked it, I guess. Don't you forget about me now. Down, 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 down. I was thinking that thing would be harmless. Wow, that was pretty harmless, actually. I'm still a little mad about all the Vivian references being changed. Vivian is my waifu. That's the one I remember. Lock 2. There's a note. Brains and brawn. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> what about the door? Queen Valentina. Can't I just kill the shy way? <laughs> that little pose. Oh shit. The fat Koopa. Ah, did it. The Mario... That Mario creature. Who beat up Smilax? What does a Mario look like? A bushy mustache, long sideburns, and a pair of mean looking legs. involved in this entire scene is just perfect. <laughs> I 
This must be where Vivi came from. Mallow is just prototype Vivi. So long, chumps. <laughs> this is one of the hardest boss fights in the game, honestly. Pulled him into my party. Oh shit. Before they all use Blizzard in my I party wipe. That's two out of four. That's three out of four. That's all four? No, Crystal. Mario shouldn't be dead anyway. Well, that did a lot of fucking damage. That did absolutely fucking nothing. It's all ultra jump. I didn't do that much. I didn't get that many hits. I'm not doing too well right now. I'm kinda hoping they're all just gonna die. I didn't do that much either. Alright, they're attacking. Thank god. They're also weak. Alright, they're, they're all probably almost dead. Shit, I should've been attacking from the get-go, holy fuck. <sighs> Never once again. I wasted so much MP. Ready to launch. <laughs> I just got an elixir. Like this upcoming boss fight is pretty damn hard. There's actually an optional boss fight coming up really soon. Fuck. I got such low HP, I can't keep on... I'm gonna get unlucky pretty soon. Monster stunned? That's the unlucky I was waiting for. Okay, Mal should be fine. Caution confused monster? What did I do to stun him? I'm stunned that he's stunned. I'll always remember that you remembered. <laughs> Could be wise. Oh. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Still alive. Everyone's dying. It'd be wise to heal. I can no longer deny. Thank you guys, I had an 8 hour shift to work today, it was boring. I didn't make a rising up video today, I feel bad. I'll make two tomorrow.
There's a boss fight right here with Dodo. Optional. You can just use the star to kill him. Cool. I don't remember what happens if you actually fight him. So this little scene, you fall through all this shit. You've passed by those treasure chests, and as a kid I never knew how to get them. But all you have to do is climb up from Beanstalk. I never, like, took the other path because it was too hard for me or whatever. Um, if you go back to town, it's literally a boss fight. So I'm just going to do that in a minute. I think, I mean, this is my opinion. Okay, I didn't actually unlock, um, what's, it, what's that place? Fuck. Uh, Great Guys Casino. This is my opinion, but, um, uh, mushroomed. I feel like, uh, Geef is, like, mid-tier. He has, he has too many bad matchups still. Like, it's, he, he got a lot of fucking buffs, but I don't think it's enough. And I don't think, if they just kept straight buffing him the way they were, I think it would eventually create a bad character. Um, it would create a character, like, if they buffed him until his bad matchups were 5-5, five, five, he would be, like, top tier for sure. Because he would have those 5-5s, five, but he would also have, um, like, 7-3s and shit. The problem is that he's a character with gaping flaws that some characters can exploit better than others. Which means this fucking idea of, um, um, this idea of just, like, like, make him all around better is not, not what he needs. I feel like he's better. He's pretty good. He's not bad. Damn. But he's not really any better against, like, Dalsim. He's not even really any better against Chun-Li. Fireballs are not as bad after Lariat buff. Lariat being so long is, like, amazing. Chun-Li's tool set is still really obnoxious for a bunch of characters. Did this ever become available? I feel like there's a map here that I can't get to yet and I don't know what unlocks it. Maybe I'm just misremembering. I'm mixing it up with Rose Town. Where's the actual in here? I think I missed one of the cameos. I got the Link one, but I think I missed the other one. I don't know when it becomes available. I'm actually going to look that up really fast on the internet. Just to see if I if it's not too late. Um... I probably missed it. We'll give it a go. It's immediately after getting the fifth star piece. I have five star pieces, but I've done a bunch of stuff as well. But it might not have a time limit. 
Or it might rather, it might be any time that you have five star pieces. You will never hit on a female toad. How do you actually do it? Such a cool cameo, too. It's in this room, but I don't know how to activate it. What about bandit girls? What about pokey ladies? I'm ashamed to say that I have a picture on my computer of what could be described as a female pokey. several of something that could be called a female chain chomp. How do you literally get it all from beating the game? Is it just for fun? F -f -f fun Yeah, I must have missed it. In that bed is, uh, Samus. Samus is literally in that fucking bed. And if you talk to her, she says, um, I'm resting up for Mother Brain. When you say Poker Girls, do you mean, like, um, Lily, or do you mean, like, Ponita? Did I save? Time to save in Monster Town. This boss fight's hard. This is honestly a really hard boss fight, mostly because of one incredibly cheap thing right in the middle. And I don't know how that's going to play out. I have no idea how easy or hard it's going to be. It might be really fucking hard. I might need to adjust my team a little bit. Hmm. Team status adjusted. Queen Valentina. Know what I think? Get out of here, the truth is. Do this. What a fucking sprite. She's got a bird for her. So the very fucking first thing that happens is your middle character has to 1v1 Dodo. Which is admittedly a really fucking hard fight. Especially because you can't, like... I'm silenced. Spam pick me ups. And also, he can double attack you. See, I don't even know if I have like a fucking. I have a max mushroom. If I was intelligent, I would have bought several of those. Nice. Oh my god, I'm getting lucky. This is literally the hardest part of the fight. I didn't even need the max mushroom. That 1v1 is tricky. I like how she fucking swings her tits when she takes damage.
Having two characters is a lot better than having one. I did almost no damage at all. What were they thinking with this design? I have the weirdest burner. But I've like done the only hard part. This fight is just long, but not really difficult from here on out. It's a three-stage boss fight. And we're on stage three. Now we fight both of them together. I feel like Snowy is probably strong against her. I feel like this is a mellow storyline boss. Oh, never mind. Not only was it not strong against her, it did fucking nothing. Oh no, please don't. Are you at me somehow? Fuck! Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, did I just lose? Matt will have a lot of HP, thank you. Whew, that was close. I forget the turn order. I think this is the correct way to do it. That double asleep plus kill. That was scary. silenced. Aurora Flash, dude, that could have fucked my whole shit up. Switching characters in season two. I did. It's a bookie now. Except I did it in season one. Yeah, I win. She just runs away. I love this. He runs into the castle and then it just starts raining. That's a cute gag. That's a really cute gag. Mello is cute. Yes, Mello's parents. Brady kind of got nerfed and kind of got buffed. I 
This is like the last real, like, exposition in the game. May I have your autograph? Jumping Mario. Autograph, please. A little jump, a tiny hop will do. That's Mario's show jump. <laughs> Everyone. <laughs> show me again later. <laughs> the leader of the Koopa Troop. Another famous person, this is just too much. <laughs> Sorry about the star street. A large star fell into the volcano, but Sar Dragon inhabits the volcano. The Sar Dragon is actually the dummied super boss from Final Fantasy VI. I wonder if it would have just been a reference to this. I don't know whether this or Final Fantasy VI came out first. This is no longer a dangerous place. Also, I can now go into this room. Nice. Yeah. I've nearly capped out my flowers. Oh shit, statues of everyone. That was fast. Seems so unworldly. Mal is the centerpiece. What did they do with Birdo's egg? Dead? Deceased egg? Here's a secret. Where the fuck is it? It's over here somewhere. There we go. Hi. Busted. This took me fucking... I found this on my own, but it took me years. I'll give you fertilizer. Yay. Secret. It's not really a secret. We meet again. This land. This here land is rich. This is it. He dropped it on his way out. This is the item. A signal ring. If it's equipped, whenever you enter a map that has a treasure somewhere in it, you get a buzz. Sweet. Damn it, I'll try anything once. What a strange dream this is. Laura's anti -air. suck ass, what the fuck? No. No! No, what the fuck? What universe? What fucking, where are you from that you would think that? What the fuck? Laura's anti are two of the best anti in the game. Oh shit, this mellow. I don't know how Laura's Hard Elbow interacts with their Fireball. Hard Elbow is like the best anti-air ever, what the fuck? What's inconsistent about that? It's like insanely huge and like pretty fast. You literally just do it as soon as you see them jump. It doesn't trade at all, what the fuck? I've like never had it trade. 
It like never ever trades. Oh, so I have those two items. I can actually get some of the best shit in the entire game. Like literally like the best two of the best items in the whole game. Hitbox situational! It's got like a shit ton of active frames! How are you having no success with these good ass normals? Or these good ass tools? Can I go down here? I think this only exists to climb up. So this is the guy looking for the legendary seed and the legendary fertilizer. The music speeds up. I'm not doing that. It literally like never trades. I don't know what the fuck. You must be doing it like completely the wrong time. You just do it early, just don't do it late. If it's trading, then you're doing it really fucking late. You just do it as soon as you fucking see the jump. It doesn't even need to be that early, it just needs to not be... You just don't delay it. You just do it as soon as you fucking see the jump. It's super consistent. I would call that like literally one of the best anti in the whole game. Small area? Stop! Just stop. That's just not true. That's wrong. It's huge. It's got it hits in front and back. It's literally one of the biggest anti-airs in the game. Here we go. Lazy shell, and a lazy shell. The first lazy shell is a weapon. It's really fucking strong. It's 30 stronger than my current weapon. It is Mario's best weapon. It is literally Mario's ultimate weapon. The other one is pretty weird. It's um, an armor. And it's a fucking insanely good armor, but it cuts your attack to shit. It literally like cuts your attack in half, and your magic attack in half. It's pretty good on Peach. Moves her forwards or anything above her head will wave. It's it's pretty good at hitting above her head, dog. But even then, like if it's if the opponent's above your head, stand strong is super consistent. I've never had it like like they must be jumping. Even if even if if they jump from like really close, you could just auto correct the hard elbow. And if they jump from any further than that, hard elbow works without auto correcting. I could literally, I'm like tempted to just make a video of it working at every range just to show that it works at every range. It's huge, dog. I don't know where you got this idea that it's like specific, because it's definitely not. It's not specific to angle and it's not specific to um, time. I just saved. How long have we... Okay, 124 is a pretty good place to cut for a second.